It was a beautiful day on the University of Memphis's campus as more than 100 students and faculty honored the brave men and women that integrated this campus more than 50 years ago. Today, seven of those eight are still living and are more than happy to see how far this campus has come. You just can't imagine. There's a world of difference from when I entered what, 53 years ago and today. It's entirely different. You, you feel good. Then you just didn't know how you felt. You felt lonesome, you felt scared, but uh, today makes up for all. Students filled the University Center's Fountain View Room to hear from those pioneers that paved the way for African American students to attend this campus. Students say it's hard to realize just how courageous these people were. Being here and being at the University of Memphis, we don't understand and we don't see what they went through. And we're kind of, we're blessed because we don't have to go through what they went through. The granddaughter of Eleanor Gandy, one of the Memphis State Eight, is a freshman here at the university and doesn't take for granted what her grandmother went through. After the brunch, an outdoor ceremony was held where City of Memphis Mayor A.C. Wharton, along with other elected officials, gave speeches and read proclamations claiming September 18th, Memphis State Eight Day. University of Memphis President Shirley Raines, along with student leaders, helped to unveil the historical marker. More than 50 years later, a historical marker has been unveiled on the now University of Memphis campus in honor of the Memphis State Eight. For Insight News, this is Carrie Oldham, University of Memphis.